Say good morning. Good morning. There's mama outside. We are here with, and excuse the noise in the background. We are here with Sammy and Paddington's F3 Mini Golden Doodles. Yeah. And we are now four weeks old. We're getting big. Yes, we are. Hey, let me describe all the noise in the background. It has been raining for two days solid. So I have in here with me one of our new puppies that we have acquired ourselves for Lambgo Farms. Um, one of our uh, standard poodle puppies. She's only nine and a half weeks old. Anyway, her name is Poppins and she is in here and she hears me talking. So she wants, yeah, she wants to be part of this. And mommy is outside, Sammy's outside right now. And she can hear me in here with babies and talking and they all want to be a part of that. So you're going to hear some barking here. And I wish we could uh, not have the barking, but yeah, got to have it. So here we are. We're learning to play and we're happy. Yes, we are. We're happy puppies. Can you say hi? Who's talking to me? Who's talking to me? Is that you, Pinky? Pinky girl? This is, this is one of our two girls, Pink. She's going to be our uh, apricot color, kind of, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I want the attention. And here's our bright collar green boy. Green and pink are very, very similar. They're going to have dark ears, more of an apricot body. That might be a little cream underneath. And then let's talk to the man of the hour. This is red boy. He's our, and I, ooh, I got somebody's gook on me. Um, Red Boy is our only fleece curly in this litter. Our F3s, the main reason for the F3s is to have more of that wavy ragamuffin soft coat. So he's going to have more of a, a fleece thick coat, and that's uh, for someone who is looking for that look or who is asthmatic. The uh, fleece coats are really good for asthmatics as we have several in our family. Okay, one at a time, one at a time. Here is Bright Blue Boy, who is a peanut butter color. That's what I call it. Looks like you open a jar of peanut butter. That's what we have. And, and you're, a, you're, a, you're what we consider an actual red. Yes, you would look like a peanut butter too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, who do I have in my lap? I have Orangey. Orangey is a little darker than blue. Um, I guess uh, I, I call blue a, a, a peanut butter, but in the past when Sammy had puppies, this is what you would call a creamy mocha. That's what we were calling it back then. Looks like you have coffee with a bunch of cream in it. It's got a, a sheen to it. It's a special unique color that uh, I typically only see with Sammy puppies. And uh, an orange is definitely a true, what we would call a red. I call it a peanut butter, so it's a light red. Yes. So the difference between these two is this is a soft cotton coat. Okay, who am I missing? I'm missing the two that are sitting right here beside me. Yeah, here's another peanut butter. And this is our little lavender girl. So our other girl. We have our pink. Oh, there's pink. Pink's collar is a little too big. I was tying it in a bow, but we're getting bigger. We're getting bigger. Yeah. And come here. Here's our, our sweet little stud muffin here. Brown collar boy. He's probably going to be more, if somebody wants a cream with dark ears, that's what you're going to get with him. You're going to get a creamy with dark ears. Definitely that typical doodle face. A little more, a uh, little more retriever in that face. Yeah. Somebody's licking my fingers. Who is it? You? Is it? Yeah. Are we talking? Yeah. So we're just four weeks old. We won't do our temperament testing until next week. And then we'll know a little more about each of the personalities here. But right now, everybody is just super, super sweet. Yeah. And they want to be loved. This is part of the training the doodle. The fact that they love praise and they want to be loved. And all you have to do is, oh, just love on him. Love on the babies. Yes, everyone needs a little love from mama here. Everybody needs their loving. Yeah, I'll get you. I'll get you. Yeah. And when they're praised like this, oh my goodness, you can teach them so much. 
We teach them more with praise than with, with uh, uh, negativity, you know. Um, as they get older and they start like nipping and stuff like that, well then we'll start correcting them. We'll correct them and, and imprint that in their in their brains. But right now we just want to let them know we are so excited that they're doing something right and well or that they're trying. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. So they're still nursing. They're going to be nursing at least up until puppy picking. Then, yes, you will. Then they'll go away from mama. Because we don't have, we don't have teeth. We don't have teeth. There's nothing in there. No. Check it. You're getting a little, little bit of buds there, but nothing has come out. Nope. Everybody's still just gumming it. So we're still doing our gruel. Yeah. But those teeth will come out. By puppy picking, they'll be chewing on our socks. And our shoelaces. We love shoelaces. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes. All righty, guys. We're going to go ahead and hang it up for the day. Can you say bye-bye, Pinky Girl? Can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Here's our brown boy. Our bright green boy. Here's our bright blue boy. I already did brown, didn't I? Yes. Okay. Oh, orange boy. Sorry. Orange boy. Yes. Red boy. And here's our lavender girl. All righty, everybody say bye-bye. And we will talk to you guys next week. Yes. Next week, we'll, um, <laughs> we'll have some puppy picking results for you guys. Yes. We're not next. Yeah, is it next week? Yes, it is already next week. Goodness sakes, it's going fast, isn't it? Going super fast. All righty. Say bye-bye. Sign us off, Blue. Bye-bye.